Hi guys, and welcome back to another installment of Secret Graceland. Let's get into it. When Graceland was remodeled in 1957, Elvis's imagination ran wild, and he initially wanted purple walls, but Gladys talked him into a more subtle blue color. The living room was this blue color, seen here in this family photo shoot, taken while Elvis was home on leave from the army in June of 1958. They are all seated in the corner of the room in front of what would later become the right stained glass peacock. Gladys passed away two short months later. Yet all this time, throughout all the changes, something from the late 1950s remained and still remains to this day. In a Gates of Graceland episode linked below, Angie revealed that the blue paint that used to be in the front rooms still exists on the inside of this hall closet door. A friend of mine got to do a special tour of the house with Angie and got to look at it in person. This is her photo that she allowed me to share here. It's really cool to see the vibe that Elvis experienced when he first got Graceland. While we're on the topic of paint and the walls, let's talk about what came after the blue. Here's the living room again, this time in 1963, and the walls are painted white. This picture was shared with us by collector Fred Hubry. Let's take a closer look in this December 1970 photo of Elvis showing off a gun, taken by Frank Carroll, who did photography for Elvis for many other events too. This angle likely looks very familiar if you've been on a tour. They're in the corner of the living room where we can stand to look out at the room. But I wanted to point out how the walls are smooth and painted white at this point. It stayed like this for many years. And though the walls are white today, it's not the same. In 1974, a textured wallpaper was added throughout the front rooms of the house. And that's what we see on the tour today. These days, Graceland is covered in mirrors. Mirrors in the living room, the dining room, all over. But they were actually added little by little. Initially, there were no mirrors at all. Here's Elvis and eight-year-old polio survivor Mary Kozlowski on his birthday in 1958. They are sitting on the main staircase and we can see all the way up the stairs inside those wall details. No mirrors were added yet. Let's explore further. In another Fred Hubry share, the front hall was a lot more bare than it is now. These details on the wall didn't have mirrors yet like we see on the tour today. But that changes upstairs. In another one of Fred's photos, this time on the upstairs landing, just before the door at the top of the stairs are mirrors, but only filling out the top details, not the bottom. Also, I know in the past some people were curious about the enclosed hallway upstairs. This shot, again, this is 1963, shows that Elvis had the upstairs hallway walled in pretty early. You might have seen this footage of Priscilla descending the staircase in the late 1960s. Pay attention to the mirrors. Let's watch it again. There are mirrors in the large outline details on the wall, all except underneath Elvis's portrait, where, of course, today there is. Here's Linda Thompson, her brother Sam, and his wife in the early 70s. Sam actually told me that they were going to a wedding, and Elvis himself took this picture. There are a few changes from then to now, but at this point, there is still no mirror underneath the portrait at the foot of the stairs which at this time was Lisa Marie's baby picture that is currently by the front door. In 1974, when Graceland got remodeled with red decor, the mirrors were now complete as we know them. We can see in this cool photo that it now covered all the spots, up the stairs and down and all the panels. Looking down from the upstairs landing in a modern view, mirrors were added to the panels on the bottom where they weren't in the 1960s. Okay, we're done with paint and mirrors, I promise. Now let's move into the parents' downstairs bedroom while it belonged to Grandma Minnie Mae or Dodger and see something that she kept in there. This jewelry box belonged to Dodger and once held her valuables. She gave this little box to Graceling housekeeper and dear friend Nancy Rooks. When this went up for auction recently, it wasn't empty. Included inside were these little photos of Nancy as well as Elvis's Aunt Delta, the last resident of Graceland. Next stop, the jungle room. Recently, I added this to a Secret Graceland video and posted about this day and where it happened, and there were many comments from people that were sure that this happened somewhere else. So let's dig into that. On Priscilla's 22nd birthday, May 24th, 1967, Elvis surprised her with a birthday party in the den, or the jungle room as we know it. They came down into the room, down the couple of steps from the kitchen, not the sun deck stairs, and while Priscilla is taking it in and is surprised, the couple are standing in this area by the sun deck staircase and the side door. It's clear that a lot of people were confusing it with this footage. This was taken in Palm Springs the same month where the whole party is sitting around the long circular couch. That's at the Honeymoon Hideaway house. 
but there's a lot of awesome footage from the birthday party at Graceland, so let's see what we can see. I recorded this from the TVs playing the home movies at Graceland, but there's better versions out there on YouTube if you want to watch. Notice the bright red floral curtains? These curtains covered the Jungle Room Den in the 1960s and can be seen in other photos of this room, like Priscilla and her friends by the side door all dressed up. In this photo, taken in the middle of the room with Elvis holding Lisa Marie. See those curtains? As Joe Esposito waits for his piece of cake, let's pause here. Behind him is the stone waterfall that is still inside the jungle room. Notice the dark figure perched up on the wall? That's a wooden statue of St. Francis shared by Angie Marchese and Graceland Social Media. This is still there today and you can easily see it on the tour path. Something else that's super cool in this footage and that's very different from what we see today, the sections of lattice dividing the room. It's behind Joe here. It kind of makes it look like a restaurant. So this is before some more remodeling was done in the room to add the wood paneling that we see today. This view now looks like this. There's even more to this home movie footage, but we'll dive into that another time. Let's make our way down to the basement. Okay, one more mirror tidbit. Did you know that the mirrored staircase has been that way for quite some time? In this Fred Hubry share, Priscilla is peeking into the stairwell as the original photographer, I don't know who that is, snaps this photo in 1963. And I'm sure we all have a basement staircase mirror photo. In a past secret Graceland, I showed this photo of the TCB den I had found with the beanbag set next to the fireplace. It's possible that this belonged to Lisa Marie, but all I know is I've never seen it in person. But just recently, I found an even better photo of this space. I think both of these were taken in the 1980s. In this one, it also appears that the projector is set up behind the bar. It's kind of hard to tell behind the watermark, but there it is, set up in the middle of the bar. Have you ever seen a beanbag on the tour? Let me know. Next, we're heading upstairs to look at something very interesting. Recently, Linda Thompson shared some photos publicly of Elvis's private upstairs area. This is all over social media. Here's what appears to be a Polaroid of their chow, Getlo, when he was a puppy, with the label Getlo, October 4th, 1974. This picture is so cute, but what's interesting is the setting. The dog is inside Elvis's shower in the master bathroom. It's got dark tile on the floor with small, shimmery tiles on the walls. To get an idea of where this is located within the house, Elvis's bathroom window is directly above the front door. So the bathroom is directly above the foyer of the house. Here is a sort of 3D rendering I found on Facebook for Graceland Randers in Denmark. I've linked to it below if you want to check it out. It's a really cool museum that looks just like Graceland. And their Facebook has some cool stuff like this. Right in the middle is the brown tiled open shower that the dog was pictured inside of. In the last Secret Graceland, we talked about the egress windows in the basement and how the basement is full of these secret windows. If you haven't watched that one, the link popped out here up at the top right and it's also in the description box below. I go into all the details in that one. So let's take a look at the blueprint of the basement. The two windows that we looked at last time are circled in yellow, but according to the plans, there is another one of these egress windows off the back bedroom that was used by Jerry Schilling. Here it's labeled bodyguards room. I've outlined that one in blue. I scoured so many photos of the back of the house, looked in the planter boxes, and I couldn't see it. I had my architect friend and fellow Graceland nerd Brandon look at it, and we couldn't find that fourth window, so we assumed it must not exist. Well, out of the blue, Misty helped me with her photo that proves that it is there. There's typically flowers and bushes in this planter, but the grate for it is outlined with this planter box you can only see in the wintertime. If you want to follow her fan account, she goes by Elvis was here on Instagram. Thank you, Misty, for solving this mystery. And that is it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.